Hello, everybody. We are back in uh, Lifeless Planet. I think we're about to find something out. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Aha! We got it. Is it gonna be another? Looks like it. What a weird place for the button. <laughs> it's definitely an interesting uh, robotic arm. I don't know why we need it, but. Like, I can't even use it now. I can only use it for that. So, who knows? Oh, there's a fire going on over there. I think I saw that already, but from very much farther away. I don't want to fall. Oh, God! <laughs> I'm dancing around like, I don't want to fall. Almost falls. Like, of course. Yeah. Oh, it's been a pretty good day. Beat uh, Zelda, started playing this. Um, can I just bash these out of the way? Looks like no. Looks like no. Is there dynamite? Yes. Yes, there is. Oh. But watching... Uh, a lot of movies lately. Um, watched two Mad Max movies, uh, The Road Warrior and Beyond the Thunderdome. Uh, realized I've never seen the first Mad Max movie before. Does this thing survive somehow? Interesting. Um, but yeah, apparently I've never seen the first Mad Max movie, which is amazing to me. Because I like Mad Max. Good set of movies. I think uh, Fury Road is my favorite. The newest one with the Tom Hardy. It was a good movie. Um, what the heck is that? All the way up there. There's something odd about that storm. Yeah, that's a storm? I thought it was smoke. Oh my. Is it going to come closer and terrible things are going to happen as I try to get to that building I want to say kind of looks like it's getting closer <laughs> guess I'll go this way <laughs> hey Found where she was. Uh, that girl's been. Oh, this is something. Oh my! Talk about big doors. Do so I just need to? So, okay, okay. Interesting. I've opened the alien structure. Uh, oh. uh, the way she used to smile, the kindness in her heart, three or four crew. Uh, oh my. Well, what's happening now? <laughs> okay. Now I'm back in a desert and there's a wasteland. There's some plant life. I think it's dead though. Is there anything over there? Doesn't look like it. Uh, lady? What in the world? Hey, get away from him. Uh, is this the guy we s 
gave our oxygen to or somebody else? Did she skewer him? Looks like he made it here. Ugh. Both my crewmates are now confirmed dead. It seems this planet is not lifeless after all. A deadly life form lingers below the surface of this planet. The woman seems uh, to avoid their trap somehow. I will try to use this to my advantage, following her tracks as best as possible. Where are her tracks? There they are. I have a feeling that... Uh... Oh, that thing's moving. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Alright, follow the tracks. <laughs> That's good to, to know. Until, you know, it comes to the point where I can't follow the tracks. Like here. Kind of had to make do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's something there. I should read it. All right. Uh, located a vast field of uh, columnar uh, basalt. Uh, these natural formations appear similar to those on Earth, but at a far grander scale than any terrestrial occurrence I'm aware of. I have to assume they formed in a similar fashion to basalt columns on my home planet, via the slow cooling of huge lava flows. As the hot substance cools into new rock, it contracts, sending uh, deep cracks into the surface of in geometric patterns. Once these cracks go deep enough, they result in towering columns of rock. These are 100% a thing that happens on Earth, but they're way smaller than this. Um, like, there are places on Earth where there, these sorts of things exist. And they're super cool. I've only seen pictures, but I would really, like, one... <laughs> if I ever travel or anything, one of these places is where I'd want to go. They're just neat, I think. Uh, the tracks are my guide, a delicate female footprint offering me subtle comfort as I press on to the unknown. Strangely, it, it's, uh, it's not always effective. I, oh, uh, I seem to lose the tracks in rocky areas, of which there are plenty. Uh, in the right light, though, I can see where they pick up again to continue my journey. An, an, uh, an analysis of the soil at the point of contact suggests there's something organic reacting to the person or the thing, whatever she is making the tracks. The faded glow is haunting. Uh, unsettling marks on the earth, this isn't the earth, you can't say it, on the ground uh, that make me recall nuclear propaganda, uh, propaganda films. Uh, I'm trying not to worry about the idea that with every step my body is being irradiated beyond repair. You have no idea. Uh oh. Following the tracks. It's kind of like losing me in the sand here. Oh. I assume if I go too far, something will pop out of the ground and consume me. I can't get up there. If only I had more jetpack fuel. That'd be real nice. Oh, God, I... Probably die. Oh, okay. Shouldn't have taken that jump. I should have gone a little further. Uh, just landing on things. Oh, there's something there. Can I get it? Yes, I think I can. All right. I've taken a sample from one... Uh, root, yeah, one of the root species. My field observation tools are not much of use, uh, but from what I can tell, the creatures are carbon-based life forms. Uh, however, their cellular structure is completely unique. There is very little specialization between cells, and yet the cells appear to be far larger and vastly more complex than those of terrestrial animals, including humans. Interesting. Just... Just interesting. I don't want to touch any place that there isn't green. <laughs> like, I'm afraid <laughs> that I might get impaled by one of these tentacle things. Oh dear. Oh. Uh, 
okay, I came from over there and I went around. Okay. I was like, wait, how do I get over there? <laughs> That's just mean. Where'd that girl go? Remember when we could see her? <laughs> oh, no. Definitely don't want to go over there. I'm going to assume she went this way. I hope. Yes! I was correct! <laughs> oh no. I've lost them. Hopefully this is rock and I don't get impaled. Uh, uh oh. Turn around. <laughs> Going up here. There it is. Don't want to lose the green. <laughs> the green is friend. <laughs> Think I found my title <laughs> to this episode. <laughs> Uh oh, gotta follow the green. The green is friend. Oh, the green. <laughs> oh god, why? Uh oh. Nope. There's wind after me. That was freaky. <laughs> I'm in the badlands now. Something over there. Where's the path? How did I get down here? Oh god, my oxygen. <laughs> it's apparently been eight hours since I've had oxygen. Yeah, it's right there probably. And if it's not, I'm sad. <laughs> my vision is getting fuzzy. Alright, estimated eight hours. I have a feeling I want to go that way. Just an oxygen pod? Supply Oxygen supply module from the International Space Science Administration. The ISSA. Well, alrighty then. I'm going to go this way, see if I can go around. Cannot go around. <laughs> That is a different path. If it's a path at all. Okay. Ooh. What is that? Alright. Beautiful Celestine min uh, Mineral. And one of the largest I've ever seen, actually. But if I recall, there's a 10 meter wide Celest uh, Celestine Geode in Ohio. So Earth would still win a Galactic uh, Celestine Mineral Contest. Neat, I think. Uh, the latest, <laughs> the latest shipment from home arrived today. Men, food, and copper, but it was all lost. They appeared in an explosion of bright light and a thunderclap. Ashes of their remains fading off in the wind. A horrible sight. The ground surrounding their arrival is but a rock, which is quickly becoming commonplace. Uh, it seems as though the more green fire that is lost to our electrical production, the less I recognize the landscape. But it is merely a test. Our people face a long history of trials and difficult choices, and we understand anguish better than any culture. In the end, we always emerge stronger and wiser than before. It will be no different here. I can be no different here. Uh, it can't it can be no different here. I said I can. Uh, I will rally the scientists together. Somehow we must return home. Our rations run low. The children look hungry. But we will prevail. Even if I must return to Mother Russia and retrieve the supplies myself. It's an interesting little rock. I see the path, I think. <laughs> she, like, made it over here somehow. Oh, dear. All right. I've picked up her tracks again. 
Uh, setting aside the mystery of how she's able to survive out here, I still don't know if I can trust her. Her trail appears to lead me away from dangers, but maybe that it's just because she's looking out for herself. One thing is certain, she doesn't want me following her, and that's exactly why I have to follow. It's time for some answers. Alright, there's some things sticking further uh, out of the ground, which are very concerning to me. Hi. <laughs> Please don't leave me. <laughs> I don't want to be alone. Why is my heart beating so fast? Is the radiation finally getting to me? Well, she didn't go that way. She went that way. Oh, well. Maybe she jumped down here and went around... Just gotta be careful. It's a fairly simple game, but you just kinda, when you're playing it, you just kinda wanna know what's going on. Which is why I think it's a pretty good game. Um, it's not special in any way. There are games way better than it, but it's a, uh, I like it. I like weird sci-fi stuff, though. Because I can't go through there. <laughs> Why did she jump up there, anyways? Alrighty. Let's get out over the horizon. There she is. Ah. Wasn't that nice. I could 100% get to her, but I think she'd run away. Hmm. What you gonna do? I'm gonna watch ya. The whole time. It, that uh, doesn't look safe. You know, to the best of my abilities. Oh god. Nope! Well. I, I thought I could get to her, uh, but I was wrong. Uh, this is where I'm going to end the episode, everybody. So I will see you all in the next.